Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, I'm going to be continuing my series of how to make a Fortnite montage. This is my first video. Uh, if you guys did see my recent montage, I stated at the end that I was going to start a series on how to make a montage. And this is my first video. So today, we're going to be learning how to make 3D text and like an intro for a montage as you saw in my gang, gang montage. Um, this is pretty simple, but you are going to need a th couple things for this. First, you're going to need Element 3D and you're going to need Adobe After Effects. Both of these things you can get for free, but I do not have any videos on how to get them for free, which I will be posting um, soon. And if you guys really need this, like right now, and you can't wait for my video, just go search it up on YouTube. There's tons of tutorials on how to get them for free. Um, just be careful, because if you download the wrong program, you could get some malware. But everything is pretty safe, um, in other words. So without further ado, guys, let's get right into the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Guys, so what you're first going to want to do is you're going to want to go and find a um, cinematic, make your own cin cinematic. Um, I'm going to be doing a video in this series on how to make a cinematic, um, but obviously this is just how to do text. So as you guys can see in the top left hand corner, I have these two things and it's my cinematic. If you guys don't know how to make your own cinematic, you can just go to the YouTuber Milk Edits. He makes cinematics for everybody. You can just go to his Google Drive and get some cinematics there. So what I'm gonna do guys to get started is I'm gonna find where I want my clip to start. Right here is where I want my clip to start. And I'm just gonna left click, not left click, right click on this and it's gonna give me these four options. I clip trim comp to work area and it's basically just gonna trim your clip to where your, um, like your whole composition was. So this should be what you have or whatever cinematic you choose. I try to make them short just in case um, anything goes wrong. I don't have to um, re-render everything and it doesn't take forever. So what I do from here guys is I go and left right click on this and it says track and stabilize right here. Um, track and stabilize and you're going to want to click track camera. And what it's going to do is it's going to say analyzing and background step one of two. And in the top left hand corner you guys can actually see um, I don't know if you guys can see it in my recording, but it says initializing, and you just got to wait for it to initialize, and then it's going to um, render your clip, and it's going to bring up these 3D um, like little dots that you're going to be able to use to like add your 3D text. So I'm going to let this render real quick, and I'll see you guys when it is finished rendering. All right, guys, so now my computer is um, finished rendering, and as you guys can see on my screen, there is a ton of these different points. And basically what these points are is they're 3D points in your clip. So like let's like right here I could select a point and put text there. I could select points here and put text there. And personally I want my text to be like on this little ledge right here. So I'm going to select this point right uh gotta get it. Right here. And it should create my text. And if this happens, do you guys as you can see it doesn't look like my text showed up. But sometimes it shows up super, super, super small. So you guys can use your scroll wheel on your mouse or you could just use this little um, thing. It says your percentage of zoom. So if I click this, it's going to zoom in all the way, which obviously I don't want. So I'm just going to go back to fit and I'm going to just zoom in with my scroll wheel so all the way to the text. And in the left hand corner, you guys can see your composition and all the things in your composition. Just click on text and mine shows all of these red dots. So I'm just going to enlarge mine and there you go. Now I can zoom out and I can fit it to how I want. And there we go, guys. And now my text is big enough and it's going to be tracked to the back of that chair. So that should be good. And what I'm going to type, guys, I'm gonna just going to type tutorial and you guys can change whatever this says to whatever you want. And... Since that obviously is too big, guys, I'm just going to go and select the selection tool again, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And right there, I think, is good. And if you guys um, did this correctly, you could just be able to hit the space bar and play the clip. And what it's going to do is, if you guys can see this green line um, right here where my mouse is, um, basically, it's just rendering the clip. And it's just going to make the text stay to one spot, and it's not going to move with the screen. So as you guys can see, my clip is very smooth and the text stays in the same exact spot the whole time. So obviously guys, you came here to learn how to make it 3D. So what I'm gonna do from here guys is 
obviously I said it in the beginning of this video, you guys are going to need Element 3D. And basically what Element 3 do 3D does is it just makes the 3D text. You can make anything 3D using it. And all you have to do is go to the right hand corner of your screen and go to Effects and Presets tab. And if you guys have no um, experience with After Effects or no experience with Premiere Pro, um, After Effects and Premiere Pro are the main editing things I use, so I'm very familiar with them. And in the um, Effects and Presets tab, you're just going to search up Element. And as you guys can see under the Video Copilot tab, um, it shows just Element. And what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to go and you're going to create a new solid. So all you have to do is go over to this big space right here right click go to new and then click solid um i'm just gonna name it black solid and click ok and then what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna take your element and drag that on here and in the top left hand corner of the screen you guys can see um basically all your controls for the element 3d plugin and i'm gonna go to custom layers custom text and masks path layer one and i'm gonna select black tutorial and once I select that, that's going to choose basically what um, layer I'm going to be using to make 3D. And I'm going to go to custom texture maps and I'm going to select our um, cinematic. It can be anything, whatever you used to put your text in. And you're going to close that tab and you're going to go to render settings. Open up physical environment and you're going to make that the same thing. Personally, guys, I have the RTX lazy lake pool thing. So I just chose that for each one. And once you guys have done all of those settings, you're going to go and click Scene Setup. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to bring you to this. Alright, so once you guys have um, opened up and clicked that button, it's basically going to open up Element 3D. And you guys are probably like, oh my god, what's happening? Help me. Um... This is pretty simple. There's only certain things you're going to do. This is very, very um, like to the After Effects. So at the top, you're going to see these three buttons. It says Environment, Extrude, and Create. Just click Extrude, and what it's going to do is it's going to come up, come up with your text. And don't touch any of these panels yet. You're going to want to go up to the top and click Extrusion Model, and then do, choose Bevel 1. And you guys can just use your mouse to um, maneuver around the screen, and you guys can use these arrows to move your text. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna go into this effects and extrude at the the first option is extrude and basically what extrude does is it um, basically choose how long your text is gonna be or like how thick it is as you can see my text got thicker if I make it lower it gets thinner if I make it higher it gets thicker so I think that's a pretty good um, thickness for my text and you guys can mess with these settings I personally don't mess with any of these settings and I just go down to basic settings and um, you guys can choose your color here. Personally, I like this red color. I've been working with it a lot, and it works really well with the, um, reflections. So from here, you guys are like, oh yeah, this looks plain. It's very like um, pale. What you guys want to want to do is you're just going to right click on this and click copy. And you're going to go to refle reflectivity and refraction and just paste that color onto both of them. And then you're just going to turn the intensity up on all of them all the way. And as you guys can see, my text is now, like, all, like, uh, what can I say, um, like, refracty and reflecty. And once you guys have your text how you like it, you're just going to go and t go to the top right corner and click OK. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to bring up your 3D text in Adobe After Effects. And obviously it does look very, very big. And what you guys want to do to fix this being big and not at the same position as your normal text, you're going to go back to the text that you first made and click P. And it's going to show the position. And then you're going to go back to the black solid and do group 1 and particle replicator. And basically, you're just going to copy the settings. So the first one is the this first one. It's pretty um, self-explanatory. You're just going to keep copying and pasting these. All right, so now that I finished um, changing the position of my 3D text, obviously this is not matched up with the te text. So to fix this, you're just gonna go, and this basically changes the the like side to side movement. 
So if you pull it right, it's going to go towards the right. And I'm just going to do that until it matches up with my original text. And as you guys can see right there, that's pretty good. That matches enough. And then the one on the right controls how high it is. So I'm just going to move that to the right, which goes down. And we don't want it to go down, obviously. So we're going to go to the left and move it up. And I think about there is good. It looks like it's kind of on the ground, maybe a little bit over. And that looks good. So now I have my 3D text. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, turn the visibility of the white text because you don't want that showing in your video. So in the bottom left hand corner, you guys probably can't see it on my screen because I have it zoomed in a bit. But just click the little eye icon right next to the tutorial one. Well, I have these both selected. Just click that. There you go. And now it should only show um, the 3D text. And as you guys can see, this looks super, super good. And there's a ton of different settings that you guys can choose. Like, for example, you could make it, like, do this weird, um, as you guys saw my gang gang montage, um, you could do something called the multi-object and enable that. And basically what this can do is, let's say it makes the text, like, go all weird, <laughs> like that. So, I just like it very, very, very subtle. Um, if my computer will allow me to do that. Um, that is not very subtle. And now that's back to normal at zero. So, we're going to go, let's choose E. Um... So there you go, my um, text is like just going all over the place. So I like to choose 10, 24 sometimes. That looks good for just being on the ground. But usually I go to like a 50 if it's like in the air text, like I like my um, text in the 3D montage. But personally, I think this looks really, really good. And to do some other stuff to make your text look better is I like to go down all the way down here to go to lighting. And I use the composition lights, and I just close, choose single light, make sure that it has more reflection. And shadows, you can turn on the shadows. I don't know much about shadows, um, so I'm not, I'm not going to mess with that a lot. I just turn them on to make it a little bit different. And you can also go to the reflection, which we already messed with in the other one, so let's not touch that. And there's a ton of different things you guys can mess with. Out output is actually where you're going to want to be. Is you're going to go to sampling and aliasing. And FXXA, FXAA smoothing. You're going to want to move that up a bit. Until your like text looks decent. Like the, t the um, corners are nice. And personally... Because that's blurring. I think that looks good for me. And basically, all you guys have to do from here is you just have to render a clip. So just click the space bar. And this one takes forever, so I'll see you guys when I'm finished rendering my clip. Okay, so now that my clip is rendered, um, it looks pretty good. It's a little bit choppy because my computer hasn't completely set it up yet. But everything looks pretty, pretty good. If you guys did this all correct, this is what you should have. And you guys can do this for any single clip. Some clips might be harder to um, choose where your clips are and make the text appear like good. But personally, I think this is a pretty, pretty good um, um, 3D render and stuff like this. And here you go guys, this is your 3D motion track text. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Um, it's pretty easy to do guys, so I'm going to be making lots of montages, montage tutorials. So, if this is hard for you guys, just s message me in the comments. I will reply and I'll make an update video or I'll help you um, in the comments. And yeah guys, thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. Um, if you guys did not like the video or you didn't find it helpful, leave a dislike. I really like the feedback. I don't care. Dislikes don't hurt me. It just helps me figure out what you guys like to watch. And if you guys find it helpful and if my tutorials are up to standard. And yeah, guys, this is Inky and I'm out.